Okay, so Akira and I, we kind of like discovered uh, what video flocking is all about. First thing we learned is that there's going to be a lot of jump cuts. I hate jump cuts, but that's apparently what people are doing now, lots of jump cuts. You're supposed to be doing this from a lot of different angles. Here's another angle with a Shiba Inu pillar in the background and everything has to be fast. So no thinking like, hmm. Akira is going to help me with this because uh, she's the best dog ever. What else we're going to do is we'll add a little bit of a story and have time lapse. All of these are the kind of things that you would find in a video vlog. The generation that's watching this kind of stuff on YouTube can't deal with boredom. So I'm going to just keep going fast, fast, fast. Whatever is boring, I'll cut out really quickly with lots of jump cuts. And I'll have lots of different angles just to make sure whatever I'm covering is entertaining enough. Continuity also doesn't really matter with this kind of filmmaking. So the Shibo Ino pillar is now on the right. Now the pillow is on the left and on the right is suddenly Aline. Aline tells me my glasses are ugly. No glasses. Glasses. I'm an old guy, so I can wear those glasses and I can look anywhere I like in this vlog. It's my vlog. Quick change to another angle to make sure nobody gets bored. And another angle here. And there's another Shiba Inu. And I'm going to give that one to Arlene. We'll be going to Gadetan Camp to walk the dog, get a couple of really cool slow-mo shots of the dog there. Uh, and then after that, we'll be going to Antwerp to visit the Saturday market there. This place is Gadetan Camp. That's a good place for dogs to run around. They can be off the leash here. And uh, I really like it. It's kind of like a dune landscape where people come on the weekends and during the week with their dogs and they run around like crazy. And they play with each other and you get a good walk as well. That was our trip to Katetten Camp and now we're off to Antwerp. But of course this wouldn't be a video vlog unless I had a lot of jump cuts like this or this or this. I really hate all this jump cut stuff, but that's the way people cut their video vlogs now and I'm old school. I hate jump cuts. It wouldn't be a video vlog if we also didn't have some time-lapse stuff. So here we go. This is our time-lapse uh, to Antwerp. And we are about to cross the border. Uh, we are still in Holland. But after this next jump cut, now, now we're in Belgium, so it's going to be another 40 minutes, well, half an hour by car to Antwerp, and uh, that's it. We made it to Antwerp, so let's have a look what we can find on the market. There's lots of stuff going on. Guy behind me playing the violin. A cheese shop behind me. There's lots of people everywhere. So the Antwerp market really is a brilliant place to go and check out food, shopping, and God knows what else. There's lots of really good stuff to eat here, like oysters and snails. I wouldn't touch them, but I'll show it to you anyway, because that's the kind of stuff that you would find here on the Antwerp market. <laughs> Raw oysters, not my thing, really. But the one thing I really like is coffee, and there's plenty of good coffee here at the Coffee Roastery on the market. Excellent, don't miss it. Now, what did you get? This one, dim sum. <laughs> and the soup noodles. What do you want? Are you hungry? This is the thing about these video vlogs. You have to be like talking a lot, which is when the camera is not running. It's not a problem for Aline, but now the camera is running. Say something. Hi. That, that's it. That's as much as I can get out of it. Like, hi. Maybe, can, you, can you think of another word? Hello. And hello. But the moment I turn the camera off, it's like non-stop talking about Turkey and holidays and houses and God knows what. And now the camera is on, not a single word. So what are you going to do for your holidays? Fun. So if you're in the Antwerp uh, shopping mall here, uh, in the old city celebration hall or start fest hall, that's where you can get some really decent chocolate. Now we are going to eat some chocolate. Okay. 
chocolate. Get the heavy. Mm. 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 Antwerp means hand twerp, which means hand throw. There's a mythology about it where the giant they have to throw the cut the hand, something like that. Read it. And now I'm going to eat the hand. Kira. Kira is sleeping. You know she can't eat chocolate, right? She's not. She's not allowed to eat chocolate. You're teasing her with stuff that she can't eat. Okay, so this was our day here in Antwerp. It was a really good day. And Aline's got her bubble iced tea. So what's the iced tea like, Aline? Is it it's good? not iced tea. It's Taiwanese milk tea. And they got my name right. Look, they spelled it correctly. Good, so we get uh, Taiwanese bubble tea. And uh, day in Antwerp, we had some good lunch here at the market. We had great chocolate. We walked the dog at Cadet and Camp. So... If you feel like going to Antwerp and you have a dog, always welcome here with dogs. Anybody has dogs, yes, great. Okay, bye, 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 bye. bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.